What we're going to talk about here is an example ThingWorks demo that leverages ThingWorks flow to communicate with a demonstration system uh, of SAP that is uh, provided by SAP after signing up through this, uh, this website tutorial. So this here is a, is, is a mashup created in ThingWorks that is pulling back on-demand SAP data, uh, in this case showing a list of customers um, that, at, that when you select a customer, it will go out and query SAP to pull back the customer contacts linked to the selected customer ID and any uh, linked uh, sales orders uh, to that customer ID as well. And so here you, on the bottom right, you can see the sales orders linked to that particular selected customer ID. Also, uh, over on this tab, we can look at those you know, specific sales orders. And as I select a sales order, ThingWorks will then make another service call out to SAP to pull back the, the selected sales order line items, or the line items for the selected sales order. And as I click through here, then that line item data will show up on the bottom right. So a pretty simple ThingWorks uh, you know, mashup application, but highlighting the connectivity through ThingWorks flow to SAP, how we, how we went about doing this, uh, is first and foremost configuring a connector inside ThingWorks Flow to SAP using a, an SAP OData authentication, plugging in the application URL to that example SAP system, and the username and password that we configured on the SAP tutorial website that when, verifi when verified will grant access from ThingWorks Flow to make calls into SAP using the OData protocols. Um, switching over into ThingWorks Composer now, we created a thing representing that that connection into SAP, where we then went and created a set of services of type workflow to go and query and bring back and return that data, those data sets from SAP as an info table result that we can then bind and show inside the grids and widgets within the mashups. And so if I go and look at one of these uh, workflow services, like this get sales orders, for example, I can open it up and what it's gonna show here is the workflow editor instead of your typical uh, JavaScripting editor. And so you can see here, in this case, I don't have any inputs uh, because I'm not searching or querying for anything particular. I'm just trying to get uh, sales orders data generically and, and bring that back into the you know, top portion of this particular grid. And uh, I'm outputting a type of info table because ultimately that's what I want to I want to output that result set. And so using the out of the box, connectors and actions from ThingWorks Flow, I went down in here, opened up the SAP OData, and drug the Get Properties action out into my workflow canvas, and as well as the define info table, so that once we get the result set back from SAP for this Get Properties action, I want to convert that and bind that output into an info table structure based on a ThingWorks data shape, and then output that resulting uh, data set as an info table data, data type uh, to be used uh, from within my mashups. And so looking at this get properties action, you can open it up and see that it, it's going to ask for a connector type, in this case basic, and select the connector that we've already tested and verified and, and uh, plugged in that, that authentication from ThingWorks Flow to the SAP system. Plug in the relative metadata URL for that system and then it's a matter of leveraging the out-of-the-box capabilities of this action uh, to access the various um, you know, entity sets that are defined uh, for uh, you know, this OData communication and being able to query that data and, and uh, in this case, limit the amount of records just for, for demonstration's sake. And then taking that resulting data, 
and using that as an input to the define info table action. So you can see over here that input now exists, that data set is now available for, to, for use within this action. And here we're authenticating to our ThingWorks instance. We're defining what data shape we want this info table to, to follow. And then binding the result set from the get properties action to the corresponding columns or fields within our data shape uh, to really um, be able to output that as an info table object uh, and, and um, the result of this particular service call. Um, all of these workflows follow the same methodology. Some of them do have inputs so that if we're querying for example um, sales order line items and you want an input of the selected sales order ID, uh, we do that and as part of that um, that particular get properties action you can plug that in and and start to query and 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 uh, you know build that query into the action itself for for use um, and, and leverage you know throughout this workflow uh, and that's all I had for today um, pretty basic example but showcasing some of the capabilities that we have uh, using in particular the, the SAP O data uh, connector and actions, um, but we do have other SAP capabilities as well. Uh, and thank you for your time.